Greetings my fellow music lovers. A while ago I released a track using microtuned vocals and I want to show you how I did it. So let's start a new project. Uh, my vocals this time are in 122 beats per minute. So let's set that. Drag in our vocals. Zoom out a bit. If I fall with you tonight, swear that you won't take my life. Alright, so that's how it sounds. And we want to first transcribe this. So to help with that, we set the mode to something that supports repitching, like elastic solo, half our tempo. Then we make an instrument that is suitable for transcribing. Doesn't have to be perfect. Something like phase one, a little bit of timbre. So it's in mono, add some glide, some legato. Great. Then we make a clip that covers the area we want to transcribe and get to it. Sounds like an A, yep. Sounds correct enough. We can put the tempo back to what it was. And then we want to duplicate our track and start the micro tuning. Today I've chosen uh, a hexany. So this is a combination product set of 5, 7, 9, and 15. Which has a nice sub minor triad, replacing the D minor triad that we have here originally. So we set this to D because it's D minor as it says here. And uh, I have some notes here that I'm going to use. Well, we have seven over six, then we have seven over five. Three over two, fourteen over nine, and finally five over three. You can solo that and hear what it will sound like.
great. We can mute the original. And uh, if we want to keep the original, we can duplicate the track or just modify it in place. Uh, everything we're going to do is uh, non-destructive, so it's fine. We might want to have another micro pitch device here, just with the deltas we're trying to apply. So this would be 0 0.02, and this would be 0 0.4, and this would be uh, minus 33, but if we try to put it that here, it clamps it at zero, so just going to mark it as 10 point whatever. So I know it's negative. This one, that's the five, I think. And this one is minus six, 1.16. But I'm going to use that as an 11. So remember what I'm doing. I think that's everything. So this is just so that it highlights the note I'm playing and gives me the delta I'm going to apply. Then we go here. Select pitch and zoom in as much as we can. So it goes from 3.2 to Minus thirty-five and back. That goes to plus eighty-three. And back to zero point zero two. If I fall, if I Here we start from point three, I guess. If I fall, if I if I fall with you tonight. And remember to uh, put values that are like not integer multiples of semitones, you have to hold down the shift key. So I'm looking at here to remember what I'm trying to do. And I guess that's enough. You get the process, so we can sell all that. If I fall with you tonight, swear that you won't take my life. All right, so we would continue like this, uh, listening, what's happening, then transcribing, retuning, and then finally applying the pitch. And uh, if we do all that, listen to what it sounds like in the end. 
Something haunted in your eyes. Swear that you won't take my life. Swear that you won't take my life. Swear that you won't take my life. And if we want to do multiple voices, like a chorus, then we of course repeat the process for each individual voice. And here's what I have for now. And I've been not in my mind, I've been not in my mind for you. And I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time, it's true. And I've been not in my mind, I've been not in my mind for you. And I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time, it's true. And we can compare that to what it would have been if we didn't apply any micro tuning. And I've been not in my mind, I've been not in my mind for you. Quite a difference. So that's basically all there is to the process. Now we would add some other harmonies. Uh, bass line, some drums, whatever we need and uh, just remember to use the scale you chose during the repitching so that everything lines up. Looking forward to hearing what you come up with this. Leave a like, remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.